There's no let up here and they're preparing for the worst. This is how they've held out against the might of Gaddafi's army. Here they turn their vehicles into war machines which could save their lives. And this is best to protect... Uh... Captured weaponry is adapted for urban street battles by those like Mustafa, who was behind a desk not so long ago. I'm studying for... Fort uh, Medicine uh, College. You're Fort studying Ian. to be a doctor? Yeah. Uh, and you've suddenly become very skilled at uh, military weaponry? In the past. Uh, in the past. In the past, I don't have any, any uh, skills, uh, skills about it. They began their revolution with nothing, but their battlefield successes mean they've got some arms and weapons now and they're making sure they stay in tip-top condition. We uh, always, you know, manage to, uh, to defeat them, you know, because we, uh, we have the willingness and the deter determination and we are fighting for a just cause. Misrata is a mass of civilian checkpoints and barricades which are constantly reinforced to make it harder for Gaddafi's troops to advance. It is a wonder they've managed it at all. The streets are littered with unexploded ordnance and the children think nothing of playing with the detritus of war. The fighters insist they've cleared the city of Gaddafi's troops, but the shelling goes on and so do the casualties. The ambulance run to the front line is one of the most dangerous jobs in Misrata today and one of the most upsetting. I am... Uh... 42, 42 years old, 43 years old, and I've got friends of the same uh, <coughs> same age, and uh, all of them has kids. When I saw, when I see their kids, what do you think I do? Just remember my friend and cry. And this is not my job. Driving, I this is not my job, I'm a volunteer. What's your job? Mm -hmm. I'm an English teacher. But this war has united the city. Misrata, all Misrata come together. All Misrata come together. And all Misrata have the same, the same aim. They want to save Misrata and they want to save all Libya. If we don't like it, that's now, nowhere seems safe, and the bombs do not discriminate. The hole there, the ceiling, there are holes in the ceiling from the shrapnels. Shrapnels were flying everywhere. And you know, you, you feel that, you see the cracks, you know. Abdullah lost his father and cousin in this attack in an area which residents viewed as a haven. It was uh, supposed to be the, one of the safer places in Musrata and uh, even there are families that came from other areas to stay here with us. Five-month-old Abdullah Aziz will grow up never knowing his father who died in the siege of Misrata. To his brothers and uncles, the NATO promise to protect the civilians here seems horribly hollow. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Misrata.